And welcome to another Lawn Fun video. Today we are introducing our brand new milk carton die. This die is so cute. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here you'll see that I have two pieces of cardstock. They're both five inches wide and they were cut from one piece of cardstock. So you're going to cut this die out twice. Uh, so I've just trimmed down these two pieces so that they're perfect size, the five inch wide, to fit through my die cut machine. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up on my die cut machine and I'm going to add a little cardstock shim because this machine just doesn't have as much pressure as my other machine. So I'm just going to add a little shim to help it out and make sure those score lines really get indented into my piece. And you'll see here when I lift it up how cool it is that it does all of those little score lines for you. And so now I'll just run it through my die cut machine one more time and I'll end up with two pieces for my milk carton. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold along all of those score lines that the die did for me. So I'll just fold on every one of them that I see, so it's pretty easy to do. And once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quickly. So I'll fold there, I'll fold that little tab at the end. And then these two horizontal score lines also. Then I wanted to show you that one thing that I really like to do is to really crease down my edges. I couldn't find my bone folder, so I'm just using an acrylic block just to really make sure that they're folded down really well. And you'll see that it gives such a nice crisp edge, so when you build the whole box, it looks really professional. So that's something that I really like to do. And you can really use anything like a little book or something or an acrylic block just to make sure those lines are really nice and folded well. And this is definitely one of those things that once you get the hang of it, you can make a ton of them because I already have made a bunch of them. Now here I'm just going to fold in those little that little triangular crease up top. When you pinch the box closed, it kind of does it for you, but I do like to give it a little head start. So now I'm going to put the adhesive down for my box. So I need to put adhesive on both of the little tabs here. And that's how this box is going to kind of close together and form our little cubed milk carton. So I can just peel off this one and you'll see how easy it is to line up the two layers. Because you folded those score lines, it almost kind of fits in, you'll see. And then you can just push it down and make sure that it's adhered really well. Now there are multiple ways to close the top of this box. So the first way I'm going to show you is this fully adhered closed way. So I'm adding some extra adhesive right on those tops that have those triangle folds. And I'm going to go ahead and peel off that second tab. And you'll see that all you have to do is just fold it over and it lines up really easily. Now one thing I love about this box is that it uses a tab closure. So the bottom, you don't have to add any adhesive at all. You just line those little tabs up and push them together and that's it, which makes it so easy to do. And then now I'm going to pinch in the tops. And you'll see when you form this box and you pinch in the tops, you kind of have to play with it a little bit, make sure that one sticks out there. So I kind of stick my finger in there and then fold it closed. And then after you folded it closed the first time, it always stays perfect. And so now we have a cute little milk carton. I just can't, every time I build one, I get so excited. I think it's so cute. So now I am taking off that adhesive there and you'll see this is gonna permanently close the top of my box. But that's okay because I have the tab closure on the bottom so I can still put my gift or my little candies or my gift certificate inside. So you can see there how cute this box is. Now next I wanna show you another way of closing up this box. So here you'll see that I'm adding the adhesive right along those tabs once again. And that's what kind of encloses the whole box. And now I'm just going to add adhesive to that one side of the triangle. So now I can adhere my box together just like I did before. Adhere the two sides together. And then flip it over and just fold that other piece on top to create the little square shape. 
And now I wanted to show you another little trick. If you were going to put something heavier in this box or you were worried about those tabs coming apart for any reason, you can also add a little strip of adhesive to those tabs, fold it together and just hold it down and you'll see now you have a permanent seal on the bottom. So you do have that option too. So now I'm just going to fold the top of the box just like I did before. Uh, so you'll see there I'm trying to get all of those nice little triangular creases folded. But this time we're only closing one end of the box. And that's so that it can look like an open milk carton. Uh, you know, like you would do in, in elementary school, you would get those little milk cartons or orange juice little boxes like that. And so this looks so cute, especially with a little straw sticking out of it. It's a really fun way to kind of present candy or treats at a party. So I really love the open style too. Now here I had to show you guys something. There was an earthquake while I was filming, so you're gonna see here that everything starts to shake, and I just had to show you guys. There's the uh, benefits of living in California, huh? <laughs> so um, here we have another milk carton, and I'm gonna show you just a fun, quick way to decorate this. So you can get really complicated with the decorating, but I wanted to do something really simple, something that I would be able to replicate. So I cut an eight inch long piece of green cardstock, because that's how long the whole box is when it's flat. And I used the grassy border die just to cut some grass, but even just a strip of pattern paper there would be really cute too. And now I'm gonna fold along those edges again. That way the grass is gonna look continuous across the whole milk carton, which I think is such a cute look. So now I can go ahead and seal the back edge of the box and everything's gonna line up and just look super, super cute. So here I wanted to show you one more way to close this box. And I'm gonna use one of these cute little office clips. Also a clothes bin would, pin would be really great too. And this is a great way to not permanently seal the top of the box, yet still have a really cute look. I think a clothes bin would be adorable there too. And here I have the sweet little bear from our new set party animal and I thought he would just be too cute right on there as just a really simple little treat box. One more way to close this box would be to punch two holes and thread twine through it. And Shari actually did that. You can see here in her sample, which I think is really, really sweet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add a simple heart to the other milk carton. I just wanted to show really quick and easy ways to decorate these guys. That way you can make a ton of them at once for a party. And here you can see all three styles. Here where we've got the clip holding the top, the completely permanently adhered top, but where we still have the bottom open so that we can add our treats or goodies or gifts inside. And then we'll just close that little tab right up. And then we've got our open milk carton, which you could do to pour candy out at a party for treats. I think that would be really sweet. I just had to show you what the design team created with these milk cartons too. I love that Yainea used pattern paper on different parts of the box to create a really cool look. And Leticia created this cute little fox box, and I love the clothespin at the top. And then Nicole got so creative and created dog houses out of this, which I love. Lynette used pattern paper and a bow tie closure, which is so cute. And Nicole created some gorgeous wedding favors that would be amazing at any wedding. And then here's Shari's sweet little box, too. So this is our newest three-dimensional die, the milk carton die. Oh my goodness, I love this die. When you build these little boxes, it, you just squeal because they're so cute. And here you can see where I used really simple, just grass around the outside edge and a little party animal and a clip closure. Here we taped the box completely closed, just a simple heart. And then here's an open box too. And there you can get so creative with this as you saw with our design team samples. And I know you guys are gonna create the coolest stuff with this and I cannot wait to see it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.